Alrighty guys, another day, another dollar. You just gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Uh, threw together three yesterday. Of course, as you as you make these things, you get faster and faster and faster. Uh, I just dipped them in tall earth, uh, wood eco-friendly preservative. I went. I usually buy mine on Amazon, but Man Lake has got this stuff. But uh, seems like I haven't bought it in a while, but. That stuff that uh, Man Lake sells, that eco-friendly stuff, it's the same material. They just put a different name on it. And if you look at the packaging between Tall Earth and that stuff Man Lake's selling, it's the same packaging. You get a little packet, it's like $20. But I'm thinking I paid uh, 15 bucks a package for this. And it makes one gallon. So yeah, there's our pallet, pallet boxes. These things are going to work out fantastic. I'll probably still buy the um, 2x8s. I've been buying them in 10-foot lengths. And I'm I haven't priced them uh, lately. There's probably crazy numbers on that, too. But I'm going to stay with it. Uh, stay with the 2x uh, material ends. And just use this uh, pallet wood. See, I've left the nails in. I was going to invest in... Uh, a nail pull, a uh, nail gun. It's a popper gun. You slide right over the nail and it slams it. It's, you hook it up to air. It's pneumatic, and it'll blow those nails out of there for you. But I th got to thinking, why would I do that? Why would I take the nails out? It gives it character, right? It plugs the hole. You take the nails out. What are you going to do? Of course, the bees will plug it with propolis. But why even bother with that? Why even bother? Leave the nails in. These are going to get a coat of slopped on paint. Look, watch in the oop section and at Lowe's. I went back there the other day and they had four cans. I only picked up two of them of the uh, deck stain. I got like a mahogany stain and one was a dark walnut looking stain. I got two gallons of that stuff. It goes beautiful. Now they claim you don't have to paint anything on these boxes. But I'm doing it just as an added thing. You can paint them white, whatever, green, pink, polka dotted. I don't care what you paint them. You can paint on top of this tall earth. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna, I am gonna. don't think I'm going to buy plywood anymore. I really don't. Now that I've got in just about all this, all this pallet wood is just about a, a half inch thickness. Makes a very sturdy box. There's no need to, to you know reinvent the wheel here so utilize this free wood my god you can save a ton of money guys and I picked up another pallet this morning I just go around behind these buildings uh, these shopping centers and usually they got pallets just thrown all over the place I went to Lowe's to the service desk and I asked the guy there I said do you guys give away or throw away any pallets he says no we do not I said okay no biggie I can find these pallets all over the place. It's no big deal, guys. It's no big deal. And, and these handles I'm putting on here are just cut off from uh, different projects that I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I just saved it one by material, whatever. You can take this, you can take some of this material here and even double it up if you want, say, a, you know, a one inch handle, just double up two of these pieces and slam them on the end with your uh, brad nailer glue them on and uh that's the thing with these i'm gluing everything together even these joints here along there they get they get glued yeah but what i wanted to show you in here was kind of a a little good little trick here um i was fighting it back and forth a little bit lining these things up yeah, it was, it was kind of dancing around here. I'd, I'd get this, and then it wouldn't be square. I'd have a little gap here, and I'd have to fight it. So I did something here that works out pretty slick. You see, I got these monster C clamps here, and I just took some of this pallet wood. See, I get different sizes. You get different sizes on your pallets. You get a lot of these. You get a lot of that width there, and you get some of that. It doesn't matter. Just mix, mix and match whatever you got until you get her done, okay? So yeah, I'm assembling in here, but I just thought I'd take a quick video and show you how I'm lining these boxes up. So what I did, 
this this sits on the table flat that's the beauty too of the two inch material it's, it's easy to put together and once you do get it screwed together you're, you're screwing this in here you don't have blowouts i mean unless you're putting this in by braille or something you won't have a screw going this because you're working with two inch material see and i only put two screws in here i put one here i stay away from my dado which is three quarter down a lot of people keep asking me what is this cut here it's three quarter down and three quarter you're just splitting this material in half of what you're doing this inch and a half material so you're going three quarter down three quarter in just set your blade you have i do this on a table saw no dado action just a single thin blade and i raise the blade off the fence three quarters of an inch high and all i do to do that i got some scrap piece of three quarter plywood i slip right on top of the deck and then i bring that blade up till i feel it flush with that top of that plywood then i set it and then i move my fence back three quarters of an inch so you just plow this take this 10 inch high board lay it flat run it through flip it up on its end and run it through again your this comes out and most of the time i use this piece which you saw out there for handles that is your handle you're going to put here and i usually go down three inches at comfortable height to pick it up so this is what i'm doing here uh i saw one of those pallet wrecking bars down there at lowe's lowe's sells a one of them heavy duty pallet wrecking bars it's pretty nice rig and i was going to get one uh, a few days back till i figured out <laughs> you don't need it you don't need it for the simple fact when you start disassembling these pallets and you use one of them pallet wrecking bars you see these nails well guess what's going to be on the other side you're going to have a nail hanging out that far then you got to invest in one of them 60 dollar guns that shoot the nail blow the nail out of the hole right no we're not doing none of that nonsense we're leaving it flush with the thing i can't even i'm rubbing my hand under here and i just feel just a very slight edge here very slight edge nothing nothing major nothing's going to hurt you right so why go through that spend all that extra investment and in buying a pallet wrecking bar buying a six that which is 46 dollars by the way and then buy a gun which is 60 50 60 some dollars to knock these nails out when you don't need it at all leave the nails in it's filling the hole and you can see my saw blade here where it ran down through it cuts it almost flush yeah i've just disassembled a pallet here i just set, disassembled a pallet here uh right here look at all that wood i got right there that's going to be my next beehives and what i do is i just set it pallet right to the back of my truck here and i lean it up and i stand it up here i found that's the best best way to work on them things yeah so what i did here is just to keep things quick and easy i just drop these on the deck i preset these and to do that i just carefully line this up set this drop this board down here to where it was lined up and then i clamped it i threw this 10 pound weight down here because i didn't want to drill any holes through the bench and all that stuff i didn't want to do all that so anyway i got that on there and uh just set a little weight against it so that holds it and then then what i'll do is uh i just stand this up run a bead of glue right down that put glue there put glue there boom bada bang set that up there line it up shoot it in with my brad nailer and then i came down here and i set this board to where things were nice and so now i've got these two boards marked here i can take it all too when I get done with this project for the day, I can take an awl and I can keep these two boards on standby and take an awl and scratch this steel top bench here so I have a reference mark so when I want to come back and do it again someday with this clamping system. I'll be, I'm going to be making a bunch of these things, guys. I'm telling you right now. I love them. I absolutely love them. And we're saving money, too. All right, guys. Be happy, be strong. You know it. You know it. We got to keep getting her on. See ya. 
okay guys i wanted to add one more little quickie thing uh when you're when you're laying out a line for this cut off here so you see it's hanging over we, we got to trim that off on the last box i had the longer ones uh i mean the shorter ones I had the little short skinny ones well with the short skinny ones this particular one had the two wider pallet planks and the other other side the other box i just did i had to use the shorter ones but using the shorter ones i had about that much hanging out and with that and with that you can't secure your clamp you can't because with a little short relief like that you can use this type of spring clamp here so you lay out your your line but so what you do in that case what you do on that case is use a clamp like this to secure your straight edge it's just so much easier to scribe a line on this thing and and to get this lined up if you look down through here the edge of this and right where my pencil is or pen is I'm gonna bring that over see and I can sight down through here this edge three points make a straight line right so you got this edge this edge and you look down down here to this edge so you just move this back and forth until you get a nice straight line just close one eye and you can sight down through here 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 and here then you come over here at this end and you do the same thing I've got this point, this point, and that bottom point. See, I guess you gotta pull it over just a slight bit. Clamp it. Now you can draw your line out. I like to use a ball point. And then just move your clamp over, hold a little pressure. Move your clamp over. Now you got your saw line right there. And you can set it up. I've just been cutting them right here on the I just been cutting them right here on a on a garbage can lid right here with my skill saw, ripping them off. So I thought I'd add that little quickie tip. So you can lay those out so you can use any size plank you want skinny ones you could even use them this wide just stack them up in here glue those edges and you're going to be good to go see ya